we were in Mumbai, Bangalore, and Delhi. Okay, these three places is where we went to perform. Mumbai and Bangalore, the shows went over very, very well. Okay, there were about 1,500 to 2,000 people, which is amazing for a few going over there. I was like excited, yes. And then we get to Delhi. And when we got to Delhi, you guys, it got a little crazy. Martin walks out on stage, and the crowd recognized him. And they started chanting, Martin! <laughs> Anytime I hear that, I'm like, they know him. It's going to be a good show. So Martin starts cracking jokes. The crowd starts laughing. He's cracking more jokes. The crowd keeps laughing. All of a sudden, I hear this. Ah, 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 ah. Martin doesn't say a word to them. He gets off stage, next comedian comes out, and then Martin comes over to me and he says, bro, I don't know what's going on, man. I don't know what's going on out there. There's these three guys in the front row. They're laughing like Klingons from Star Trek. <laughs> I'm not going to address them. I'm going to save them for you. <laughs> I was like, oh, thank you. <laughs> so then Martin goes back out there on stage. And he introduces me, ladies and gentlemen, Gabriel Iglesias. And then I run out on stage, and the crowd started chanting, Fluffy, Fluffy. And I was like, whoa, what's up, Deli? <sighs> and I start cracking jokes, start getting laughs, start cracking more jokes, start getting more laughs. And then it happened. <laughs> ah, 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 ah. Now, see, me, I can't avoid things especially when it's front row center. So I addressed it. I came right out and I said, well, hello. I said, what do we have here? I said, so where are you guys from? And the guy in the middle looks at me and he goes, we are from Germany. I said, cool, we have Germans in the house. And the whole crowd got really weird. You could hear them. They freaked out because they thought I was going to start making fun of the German people. And one guy even stood up. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. I go, relax, bro. Have a seat. Don't do it. I'm not going to make fun of the German people. That's the last thing I want to do is offend them. I don't want to end up outside in an alley somewhere freaking in two hours. This is the last time they are going to tell you, do not make fun of German people. As I'm doing this joke about a German kicking me on the floor with the accent, here's where it gets crazy. I get hit in the side of the head by a bat. Listen to what I just told you, Bay Area. I get hit in the side of the head by a bat. Not Major League Baseball. I'm talking about, I want to suck your blood. In India, there are millions and millions and millions of fruit bats. And one of them, actually six of them, made it inside of the building. And they're flying around and they're hanging out in the rafters. And one of them decides to fly down. And basically, when I was doing the kicks, I stepped into the line of flight of the bat. And he caught me right here. I'm like, what the hell? And I look up and you see it. And you can hear it. The Indian people saw that and they freaked out. They were yelling, they did it. They did it. We told you, don't do it. They told you, don't do it. They are evil. They are evil. I'm like, dude, I don't care how evil you think the Germans are. They don't have control over bats. It wasn't like the guy got offended and said, oh, really? Uns release the bat. So now the crowd is weird. These guys are laughing, ah, 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 and there's freaking bats flying around the theater. First two minutes of my show, I got to do an hour, and now I've already lost the crowd. They're freaking out. These guys are laughing weird. I'm nervous. It's my first time there. I don't know how to get out of this. So I literally walked over to the other side of the stage, and I started just performing for this side of the room trying to redirect the focus right here. And I'm so nervous, I'm stuttering. I don't even have a segue. I'm like, you know, it's crazy in America. Everybody in America likes drinking, you know, it's just real crazy. Like, like for example, Mexicans, uh, most Mexicans, we like drinking tequila. Um, most black people like Hennessy. Most white people like Jaeger. Here in India, you guys like Fanta. 
And when I said Fanta, the crowd went crazy because it was such a local reference. They freaked out. They were like screaming, oh my God, he knows, he knows. <laughs> they started singing. Fanta, Fanta, Don Giovanna, Fanta, Fanta, Don Giovanna, Fanta, Fanta. The roar was so big, it allowed me to restart my show. So I started cracking new jokes and more jokes and these jokes and those jokes. Five minutes go by. Five minutes go by, all of a sudden, the Germans got offended at the fact that I left them out of my drinking joke. The one in the middle stands up and he approaches the stage. Now this stage has gotta be about five feet tall. The guy's head was about this high. He was like 6'4". He looks at me and he starts pointing and he's yelling, Hey, Fatman! Fatman! What about us, huh? What about the Germans? What do we drink? I was like, dude, that was like five minutes ago. <laughs> we were giving you a chance. What do we drink? I'm like, first of all, sir, I apologize. I'm really nervous right now. Um, I had no idea there was going to be Germans here tonight. <laughs> yeah, felt like Poland. <laughs> I don't care if you laugh or not, that's a smart ass joke. That's a smart ass joke. It's not my fault some of you pendejos failed history. You better Google that and find out why it's so damn funny. So, <laughs> all the older white people are, eh, God damn it, yeah. So anyway, so I'm standing and I go, listen sir, you need to have a seat, okay? The, the people are getting nervous, you need to have a seat so I can finish the show. And the guy, he refuses. I will not sit down, fat man, until you tell us what we drink. I go, listen, I don't know what you guys drink. And the Indians are being so cute. They're trying to help me. They're yelling, hey, they like Fanta too. <laughs> and the guy was like, we do not like Fanta. I'm like, dude. I go, sir, please have a seat. I will not have a seat until you tell us what we drink. Tell us, fat man. I go, listen, sir, you need to sit down and you need to stop calling me fat man. Now it's starting to bother me. This is like the sixth time he does it. And I didn't just lose 100 pounds to now get called fat man. So I go, sir, if you don't have a seat, we're gonna have a problem, especially if you call me fat man again. And he freaking did it. What are you gonna do, fat man? What do we drink? <laughs> Even Martin, who's behind the curtain, knew. He knows when I'm at that point where I've crossed over. I can hear him in the back. Don't do it. <laughs> Too late, Fluffy's pissed. So I said, you wanna know what you drink? Tell me. Don't ask me where this came from. I got right in his face and I said, blood of juice. Now see, automatically, you guys gave me a whole different reaction. <laughs> In Delhi, that was probably the most shocking thing ever said on that stage. So shocking that 2,000 people at the exact same time got so quiet, you guys, so quiet. You could hear everyone's ass just <sighs> And I'm still standing there, my hands out. Have you ever said something that was so bad? And I mean, you knew it was bad as it was coming out of your mouth. And you're trying to stop it, but it's too late. It's already out. And you're like, no. <laughs> and it's too late. Blood of Jews is all over his face, right? I'm standing there, my hands out. I'm looking at him. He's looking at me. And I'm like, ah. He says, that's a good one. Yeah, that's a good one. Oh, my God, thank you. Thank you. It doesn't end there. I'm telling you guys, this is so crazy. So next morning, Martin and I are flying back home to Los Angeles from Delhi. We're taking an airline called British Airways. We go from Delhi to London, England, and we have a connecting flight over there. Once we get to England, they canceled our connect for whatever reason. And so we got rebooked on another airline called Lufthansa. <laughs> it's a German airline. Now this is why I believe in karma. Seriously, Martin's like, really? Blood of Jews? I'm like, I know. <laughs> I felt like they phoned ahead. Owns, take care of Fluffy. <laughs> so I put down my credit card. I made sure that Martin and I got upgraded to at least their business class, because <laughs> it's like a long flight. And um, so we're in there, we're on the plane, and the plane takes off. <laughs> About 20 minutes into the flight, we're just sitting there, we're laughing. 
And the flight attendant, she starts coming down the aisle with a little cart. Okay, she's coming down the aisle, and she sees me, and she goes, Hello, sir. Uh, do you have a preferred drink of choice today? <laughs> Martin looks at me, taps me in the chest, and he goes, Hey, tell her. <laughs> tell her, bro. Come on, ask for it. If anybody has it, <laughs> dude, shut up. And then she looks at Martin. Sir, do you have a preferred drink of choice? And Martin's like, yeah, you guys got blood of <laughs> She's like, Bloody Mary? Yes, yes, Bloody Mary. <laughs> We're freaking Machetta's gonna get me banned from flying. <laughs> so we make it back home. I'm trying to tell the story to my girlfriend and my son. And my girl, she's barely laughing. She's like, uh huh, uh -huh. Like, she's jaded. She doesn't laugh at my jokes anymore. <laughs> my son Frankie, on the other hand, he is dying. Ah! And I'm like, really? He's 16 years old. I go, really, Frankie? You thought that was funny? He goes, yeah, it's funny. I go, what was so funny about my story? He goes, those people you're talking about. I go, who, the Indians? He goes, no, the other ones. I go, the Germans? He goes, yeah, it's funny. I go, what's so funny about the Germans? The way that they speak. I go, what's so funny about the way that they speak? He goes, they sound like the three little pigs from the movie Shrek. <laughs> I had to go on YouTube and freaking find it, and sure enough, all three little pigs. Oh, yeah, hello, Shrek. Ah. I was just waiting for one of them to go, fat 